In this video, you will be able to build an NFT gallery using ThirdWeb's dashboard and Next.js where users are able to see all of the NFTs from your amazing NFT collection. And users will be able to connect their wallet to see if they own any NFTs from your collection. If you're not familiar with Third Web's SDK, don't worry, we have step-by-step -step guides and YouTube tutorials to help you get started with using Third Web's SDK for your projects. Before we jump into the video, I want to let you know that currently 70% of the amazing people like yourself that watch ThirdWeb's YouTube videos are still not subscribed to the channel. So before we begin, I'd love to ask you a favor. If you get any value out of these videos, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to the ThirdWeb channel. And a little tip is we're going to be airdropping 10 users who have subscribed to the ThirdWeb channel, a very special NFT every week. So first things first, we're going to ThirdWeb's dashboard to deploy an NFT drop contract. So let's head over to ThirdWeb's dashboard and click on NFT drop to deploy our contract. We can fill out the name, description, and upload an image from our NFT collection. So here I have switched to the Goerli testnet to use the test funds. However, you can use um, any network you'd like, but for um, the educational purpose of this video, I'll just be using the Goerli testnet. After we have confirmed the transaction, we will be deploying the contract. After we have deployed the contract, we can head over to Claim Conditions tab and define the claim phases for our contract. After we have reviewed the details, let's save this claim phase. And now we want to batch upload our NFT images. And in the NFTs tab, we can batch upload them and include an, a CSV or a JSON file. And for my collection, I have included a CSV file along with the metadata and properties of my images. And once they're batch uploaded, we'll be able to see the NFTs. And now that we have the contract deployed and the NFT collection batch uploaded to the contract, we can now set up our project with Next.js. So in our terminal here, let's set up a Next.js application template by typing in npx third web create dash dash next dash ts because we want to be creating a TypeScript application. And we can just go with the default options here and create a TypeScript application. And once that's done, let's pop open our code editor and navigate to underscore app.tsx. In this file here, by default, the network is set to mainnet, and we want to change that to the network that we just deployed our contract on, which is the Goerli testnet. After that's done, we can start to build our website by heading over to the index.tsx file. And in this file, we'll be using the use contract hook provided to use the React SDK to get access to our contract. So in the use contract hook here, we should replace this contract address with the one that we just deployed on ThirdWeb's dashboard. And then to get the NFTs, we'll be using the use NFTs contract. And to get the NFTs from the contract, we'll need to use another hook called use NFTs. And we'll be importing that at the top of our file. And just a quick correction here, we're no longer using the hook um, by typing in contract question mark dot NFT. We're just going to be um, using contract within the hook. 
So the hooks that can be imported from the third web package will be use address, use contract, use MetaMask, and use NFTs that we'll be using in this tutorial. So let's now work on rendering the NFTs. And we want to delete everything that was originally in the return statement inside the main div tag and replace it with the code snippet here. And essentially what this does is that we're mapping through the NFTs and rendering them by calling the metadata and the wallet address of the owners that have the NFTs. And trunket address is essentially the function that shortens the wallet address of the owner of the NFTs. And we can add this trunket address function on top of the uh, return statement. And that's pretty much all the code that you need to render and see your NFTs in your NFT gallery. And now we can run in our terminal npm run dev or yarn dev to see all of the NFTs in our localhost. And what we can see here in our localhost is that we're able to see all of the NFTs and the wallet address of the owner, but the images are really big and the cards are not styled. So let's go back to our code editor and go to our CSS modules to style these images. So we should already have a folder called styles and inside we want to delete everything that was originally in the globals.css file and replace it with this code here. We're going to be changing the padding, the margin, the font family of the website that we have. And let's head over to home.module.css file and change the styling of the file as well. And we want to be deleting everything that was originally in the file and replace it with the code that we have here. We're essentially changing the styling of each card that contains the NFT image. So that's it. That's some basic styling for the cards, the container, and the image of our NFT gallery. And that's essentially all the code we need to render our NFTs in our NFT gallery. Now we want to be making some improvements to our code. Let's add a loading screen because the NFTs can take quite some time to load. So before the first return statement, we want to add this loading screen by adding an if statement. And now let's add some special text to see who the NFTs are owned by. So uh, to do this, we can go back to where we call the hooks and add in two more hooks called use address and use MetaMask. And now just before the map function, we can add a connect wallet button. And essentially what this does is after a, u a user connects their wallet, they'll be able to see the person that owns the NFT. And for the NFTs that haven't been minted or burned yet, we can add a simple filter before our map function to not show them because they're owned by a null address. So here's what it would look like without the filter function, where all of the NFTs will be displayed on your NFT gallery. But if we go back to our contract on the dashboard and go to the NFTs tab and try to claim a few NFTs, we'll now see that the website will only display the NFTs that are owned by us. And there you have it. Now you have an amazing NFT gallery that allows users to connect their wallet and see the NFT collection and who owns the NFTs. Again, if you liked today's video, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below or speak directly with our team in our Discord channel. And if you want to take a look at today's code, feel free to check out the GitHub repository in the description link down below. I'll see you in the next video.